What a weird game. My goodness, two teams have really struggled to get it going offensively, two teams. They're one of the best defensive teams in the country, of course, and, and we really guarded at high clip tonight. Um, got some stops down the stretch when needed. I thought our bench was really good. Just on hold, plus 17, Frank Anselm, uh, really defended the glass at a high level. I, I thought did a pretty good job defensively. And Justin Hill was uh, arguably as effective for us uh, offensively as anyone. Hit some timely shots. Um, it was a, a gritty win, you know, a, a hard fought win. Two teams I thought that played really hard. I thought we did a great job despite them getting 14 offensive rebounds. I, I, I think that number is a little bit, uh, a little bit misleading because uh, they, 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 they missed a bunch of free throws, of course, thank God for us. Um, and, and they missed you know, a few from the field. They gave us opportunities. That 14 number could have been a lot higher. They're, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. Um, obviously, they're one of the best uh, teams in the country turning you over. I want to say top five coming into this game, if I'm not mistaken. We get 18 there, so we've got to continue to improve. But um, thankful to the crowd that came out. I thought they were a, a really big factor in the win, especially defensively late in the game. Um, Mississippi State's very, very good, and, and every team in this league is. So take care of one that we can get. It's a good one for us. Mike, you obviously struggled offensively all game, but yeah. one, what were some of the, I guess, issues you saw, but two, what does it say yeah. about your team that they're able to gut out a win when it's you know tied with four minutes ago? Yeah, I think it's progress. That's a step, right? I mean, a lot of teams are not winning that game. You shoot 29%, correct? Is that what you shot? Mm -hmm. You shoot 29.8 and 18 turnovers and you find a way to win. That's, that's pretty unique. I haven't been a part of any of those, but um, Coach Jans and his staff, and those guys uh, collectively, my goodness, do they guard you. And they're, they're a little bit unique in their approach with their heavy side and, and their firing of the post. And, uh, you know, Braylon has gotten to the point where, and they do it, you know, to, to every team, but, you know, they, they swarmed him and they're very handsy and, and they, uh, they load to the basketball. They're long, athletic, quick, play really hard, they're very physical. Um, and it, it, it would have taken that type of effort, obviously, especially when you're not uh, converting like you'd like to from the field uh, to be competitive down the stretch against these guys. You talked about Terry's offensive game. He didn't score until the second half. Did, did you say anything to him in coming out of the break? Or uh, no. just what, what stood out to you about him after halftime? Uh, we set a few more ball screens in the first half. We were a little bit call heavy. Um, excuse me, in the second half. We were a little bit call heavy first half. We wanted to try to establish um, the interior. Um, and, and find a level of comfort down there. Um, and and we, we never really did. Uh, thank goodness that Terry and, and Justin in space, um, off of simple ball screens, made some pretty good decisions, especially, again, by uh, Justin Hill with, with one turnover. You know, he only had two assists, but he, he moved a little bit and made some reads. And Terry made some plays, of course, as he, as he has been. Um, but uh, aggressive with, um, with attacking ball screen coverages. And credit to. You know, Braylon gets the double double, and Frank um, you know, didn't get it going offensively. You know, he, he didn't score it, but I thought he did a really good job of spreading the ball screens and creating space between him and his defender and allowing those guards to play in space a little bit and get downhill. You talk about Justin, he had a big three against Auburn last week. And yeah. He, every shot he made tonight gave you all the lead back. Well, what's it about him that even when he doesn't have it going early, he just he steps up against big shots late in the game? He's, he's, he's gaining confidence and he's got to continue the game because he's a good shooter, he's a good player. And uh, he also hit a, a really big runner um, you know, off the glass right in front of the bench. Uh, again, against a high level defense. That was a big time play. And uh, we've got to continue to get those contributions off the bench. We're, we're a team that's um, uh, a unique team in that uh, it, it seems like it's a different three or four guys. That outside of Terry and Braylon, you know, they've kind of merged. You know, our next opponent knows that. The rest of the teams are, you know, on our schedule know that. As, uh, as volume guys for us, but um, you know, three through whatever, 11, 12 guys, um, we've got we've got some parity and we've got some um, some complementing pieces. And um, if it's seven, eight guys stepping up, great. We'd be, probably be pretty good that night. Uh, this was one where you, you had you had a couple guys off the bench, many contributions, but a couple uh, specifically offensively. I know how much you emphasize free throws to you know finish the game, not hitting the shot from the field in the last five minutes, but be able to still win. 
Yeah. How how impressive is that the performance from the line? Huge little little swagger at the foul line. It's it's awesome. You know, it's uh, <coughs> it, it gives you chances in, in close games. Our guys continue to step up there with confidence. This team has gotten to the foul line a lot, um, and they get to the foul line a, a lot, of course, uh, as well. But this team also is, uh, we're you know we're amongst the league leaders in free throw percentage as well. We continue to do that. Uh, we'll continue to shoot a ton of them, but. Um, Bottom line is we've got pretty good free throw shooters. When you're building a program like this and you, you're three games in the SEC right now, what what does it do for this program just finding ways to win like this and finding ways to win, I guess, a different way with different guys every night? It's really big. It's really big. We, we talked in the in post game in the locker room that uh, it's a it's a step. You know, a step for us is winning um, a hard fought. Um, Physical, you know, tough nose, gritty um, game, you know, versus uh, versus a team that um, that just gets after you, right? Who's had a lot of success when you don't play great offensively, and I, they had ninety percent to do with that. You know, they they're terrific defensively. We played really well against Auburn. You know, this was a different performance for our guys. So that's a, that's a step in the right direction, not only for this team but for our program. Next step is at some point we have a breakthrough on the road. Cario held scoreless tonight. We mm -hmm. Obviously, it looked like he got a little bit banged up there in the yep. first half. Is he okay physically or in just an off night or what? He was banged up a little bit there, and then we got the the clearance um, to um, you know give him, to give him another opportunity. It, it just wasn't his night, but he's um, he's a culture guy. You know, he's a um, He's got a great attitude. He's he's fired up as, as anyone in our locker room that uh, the Georgia won. You know, that he and his teammates won, and he's a, a big piece of, of what we're doing. And uh, he'll be ready to go to practice tomorrow. Uh, this is a team where it's been for the most part. Uh, and I said I said uh, Terry and Braylon earlier, and obviously I, I screwed up by leaving the carry a while. He's he's uh, one of the, the best scorers in our league. So you know, he's a guy that we'll continue to, to rely upon uh, offensively. He did some other things defensively, I thought, um, but it's just—it seems like with this team, very uniquely, it, it's just—it's somebody's turn, you know, different every night. It just it is a different two or three guys, um, especially outside of those top three scores, night in and night out. Y'all are ten and zero at home now, going on the road for the next two. What do you see as the biggest difference between this team playing here at the Stag versus playing on the road? Um. Connection, we're, we're connected at home. You know, our crowd is a factor, especially late in the game defensively for us. I thought it got really loud, and I thought, um, I thought that, that, that our, our crowd was a factor down the stretch in helping us get stops. And you're fighting that on the road in this league. You know, every environment in this league is, is tough to play in and to have success against, um, especially offensively. You know, we, we had a, a game the other night. We, we just we couldn't get it going offensively. Of course, we had another one earlier in the season where we actually played well offensively. We couldn't get stopped. So uh, we'll have to you know continue to search, and we'll have plenty of opportunities in this league, but they'll all be very tough. All right, thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.